Um, we have established a, 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 a taxpayer intelligence and investigative unit, and of course we, we now have persons who, whose job it is to be out there and to be the department soup, if you can call it such, to ensure that we pick up um, practices and that, that, that we think run counter to, 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 to good taxation, good tax practices, and that is proven to be, to be very, very effective. Sometimes the books and records do not show the full picture of a taxpayer's activities and business, and we have come to recognize that we need to go beyond the books um, to, to sometimes get a full feel of the taxpayer's level or tax exposure. And so this, 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 this unit would basically be seeking to find additional information and in terms of who owns businesses and who are basically the beneficial owner of, 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 of certain businesses and to examine practices that are brought to our attention in terms of tax avoidance. Well, what, what we have um, identified is that there are some businesses, especially in the retail uh, merchandising sector, um, where customers would go and purchase something, let's say, for $50, but $5 would be rung up on the, on the, on the bill. And because persons are not in the habit of examining their receipts, in most cases, um, this, this practice go unnoticed. And so I want to encourage persons that you buy something, uh, you pay for service, please ask for a receipt. You are supposed to get one whenever you, you, you pay um, for goods and services and examine the receipt to ensure that what, is, what you purchase is actually what is on the receipt. Our, our auditing um, system relies on these receipts and, 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 and documents when we go to audit businesses and if the receipts are showing a low amount, that is the amount that the taxpayers are going to declare um, essentially on, on, on their financial statements. And so if these receipts become unreliable, it means that the department's ability um, to fully to ensure that, that taxpayers are declaring their correct amount could be, could be hampered.